Good afternoon and welcome to my very first Friday grocery haul. It feels very weird going from a Wednesday to a Friday. Um, majority of the vote was split between a Sunday and a Friday haul. I thought Friday would be better for you guys. So then when you do your grocery shopping on the weekend, you can see some of the stuff I've got. And what I'm also doing now is I am filming through to my YouTube channel. So you can come back multiple times and see the videos. I won't do it on my Instagram stories, but on my YouTube video, I will share with you the recipes I'll be using for the week. I will get started with the grocery haul. This week I spent $1.92.90. My receipt just here for the YouTubers. A lot more expensive than usual because Coles had spend 200, get $20 off. And I have family visiting for the next week and a half and for the next three days, I'm feeding Good afternoon. I am feeding six adults and two children, so I have had to purchase extra things. Now, in saying that, I do have a section in my budget planner that allows for additional expenses when these sort of things come up. So if you do want a free copy of the budget planner, hop onto my website, place an order, I'll send you a copy. You are welcome. But let's get into what I've got. So I've got quite a few this week, and there's quite a few things hidden down in here. I'll give you a tour through. Actually, before I get started, so to get to my more expensive, to get to the $200, so I usually spend the $140. Rice was half price, so I grabbed a bag of it. Definitely, definitely going to use it. I grabbed more flour. We'll definitely, definitely use it. And then I grabbed a few extra tin things to stock up. And then I was very selective with the things that were on sale this week. Milk we usually go through. I'm treating the kids to apple juice this week and it's actually a lot more cheaper to buy that three litre bottle. I can put it into like their juice cups and they can drink it that way. These, feedings. these were on sale this week so I grabbed them for the kids as a treat. We're going out a lot this week. It is school holidays, we're catching up with my niece. We've got family from interstate visiting so I needed lots of snacky things. This will be handy. I can put them in their lunch boxes with coolie bags. Um, the fish was on sale this week. Did not need, but I thought I would grab it to stock up on. I've grabbed things like cream cheese. I've got ham for my husband's lunches for the week. I've got two kilos of chicken breast down here, which I'm gonna be, actually going to use for tonight's dinner. Make scones through the week. So I've got extra butter to do that. I've got feta for... Salads, I bought extra bacon, which is a bit not unusual for us um, because we've got family staying. I'll do a big cook up one day. So there's a massive pack of eggs down over here. I'll spin the camera around there. So I've got my massive pack of eggs there. I've got fresh bread rolls. That's why I picked up groceries late today. With Coles online, if you order from, I think, 12 or 2, you can get from their fresh section because they do cook it fresh in-house. This is my favourite uh, easy chuck together salad kit. It comes with the sauce and some crunchy noodles on top. That is going to get eaten tonight. We're actually doing a barbecue tonight. So I've got the salad there. I've got lettuce. I've got lettuce. I've got that's mushrooms for a breakfast one day. I've got radishes to make some chicken skewers with. Loads of fruit. Like loads and loads of fruit. Again, we've got a few activities on this week. So I want to make sure the kids have got plenty of fresh fruit to eat. They're loving grapes at the moment. We're going to have tacos one night this week, so I grabbed a jar of the salsa. You guys know I don't buy the kits. I buy it like all deconstructed. It's actually a lot cheaper. This was on sale for 50 cents. I grabbed it. Why I grabbed it, I do not know. I am going to use it for something maybe over the weekend as a dip. I think it's With meant to be funny. Sorry, guys, that are watching me on here. This only gives me so many sections to do and upload. Okay, so yeah, I don't know what I'm going to use that for, but I'm going to use it for something. I might even use it to bake potatoes and put the sour cream thingy on top. Who knows? Um, hand soap was on sale. Cat food was on sale. I am getting all four wisdom teeth out next Friday. They're cutting into my bone. I'm going to have some bone surgery done to my jaw. So I have bought some minestrone soup for myself. It was half price. And I'm planning on making some pumpkin soup. So I've got two huge pumpkins there. I had been warned to 
I will be drinking through a straw for a couple of days. Um, and then just lots of things like celery. So we're going to do cream cheese with celery sticks. Um, kind of what I usually get, but bulking it up. We're going to do this bag bowl over here. I've got these on sale this week. So look, I have spent quite a bit more than I usually would, but I've got extra people coming tonight to accommodate, not just tonight, the next three days. If I was sticking to budget and still entertaining people, I definitely could have cut back. I do not need to get these. I did not need to get this. I did not need to get this. I did not need to buy ham. I did not need to buy flour. I did not need to buy apple juice. I did not need to buy these here, all these, or these. And I did not need rice. So I could have had it under budget, but I got $20 off this week. So I thought it was worth taking advantage of stocking up, but I'm very strategic again about purchasing things that we will definitely use. This one here is questionable. For 50 cents, we can just roll with it. Um, so this is what I've gotten this week. Very busy week of entertaining and feeding people. And this will last me quite a few weeks, guys. Like that flour is not going to get touched for months. Um, some of this tin food is not going to get touched for weeks. I've still got plenty of potatoes. I've got big salads and lots if I of um, leftovers this week. Plenty of leftovers to have this week after tonight's barbecue. Big breakfast, which means smaller lunches on the weekend. I do have my dental surgery. So if you want to see what I've got planned for dinner, come over to my YouTube channel. I will finish with my Instagram crew now and we will talk soon there. Okay guys, I'm over here. Let me move you around. This is a bit of a first for me. I'm just gonna be doing this raw and unedited to go on to my YouTube channel every Friday. I'm pretty much gonna pull my SIM card out, chuck it in my computer, upload it, give you a snapshot of what we're doing and you can check it every Friday and it'll always be my YouTube channel for you to go and see. Um, but this is pretty much it. Let me take you off the stand and give you a bit more of a closer up, uh, closer look. Oh, some of the stuff you wouldn't have seen. So I've actually got quite a lot of produce this week. But I've got six adults staying, visiting between Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and some come home Monday, and then another one stays for another full week. So I'm actually feeding a lot more people than I normally would. Um, tonight for dinner, we're actually doing a barbecue. So I've got a pre-made salad. I love this salad here. For $4, if you get invited to a barbecue for $4, chuck this in a bowl, put the salad dressing on top, sure winner. And it's really simple, especially if you're working, you're rushing home from work, it's all done for you. Maybe it's cheaper if you do it yourself, but this is a very convenient and tastes really yum. I do prefer this way. I've got stuff to make up a few big salads. That's why I have purchased a few abnormal things that aren't in my usual grocery haul uh, and we do have the fresh bread for tonight as well I actually need to get my potato bake cooking very soon but for dinners this week welcome to my board my board has eight dinner allocations I'm going to call it and this always means I am one night ahead I don't do Monday to Sunday I write it up as I've got it and then when I feel like cooking that meal, that is what we cook. Tonight we are doing a barbecue though, so that will be our tonight's dinner. Tomorrow night, husband and I are actually at a friend's barbecue. So I've got the in-laws watching the kids and they're probably gonna have the leftovers. There will be enough for leftovers. Uh, then they've got, I've got family still here for the next, I think two nights. And to be honest, I'm probably gonna do steak, burgers and homemade pizza. And then as the numbers dwindle down, I probably got enough to stretch the fish, fish and veg and the spag bowl and we can work our way through. And this is my homemade chicken schnitzel we've got here. When it comes to buying groceries, let me turn you back around. People always say to check, I'm going to put you on my stand up here. People always say to check uh, what you've got in your fridge and freezer first and plan your meals and then grow the grocery store and get what you get. I don't do it that way because you potentially miss out on the sales. I have free templates on my website where you can do an inventory of your freezer, fridge and pantry. It's really handy to have to know what you've got. I've got probably enough meals in my fridge and freezer that can last my family two weeks. 
probably stretching it a bit, but I can get us through for two weeks, probably getting low on the veggies and that sort of thing. But two weeks I can probably feed my family. So what I do is I usually go through my fridge and freeze and go, look, there's definitely a spag bowl, there's definitely a curry, there's definitely meat pies or fish. We're going to have those. And I probably allocate two to three meals guaranteed from my fridge or freezer. I then go on to Coles online and I will find all the things that are on sale. And then from that shop, I will build the components to make the rest of my dinners throughout the week. If you pre-plan your meals and then go to the shops and lamb's not on sale, chicken's not on sale, the veggies you want aren't on sale, the sauce you need isn't on sale, you're spending unnecessary money because you haven't thought about, how am I gonna put this? You've thought back to front. I think you think, I think when you plan from home and then go to the shops, you think back to front. And then people also get stuck in the trap and they go to the shops and they have their list written out. They see something on sale and they'll grab it and then they go over their budget if you're on a really, really tight budget. So try it the other way. Look at what you've got in your fridge, freezer, pantry. Make three or four dinners for the week out of what you've got. When you do your grocery shopping, I do mine online so I can manage my budget from doing it online. Pick the things that are on sale and then build a dinner from that. We always have rice. We always have potato and veg in our freezer uh, pantry. So no matter what I get, whether it's a sauce, a pre-made dinner, a chicken, steak, I can come up with something. I can easily come up with something. I've already got sauces, rice, veggies, chuck in a piece of protein, or I could do a vegetarian dish and it's done. If I'm really tight, I can pull out a sauce and pasta and do a vegetarian bake. It's pretty easy to do. I am going to start getting more frozen veggies to have in our freezer. We do have another freezer in there, but it's actually quite small. I want to get a larger one to sort of allocate for more frozen veg. Bit of a different video for you guys to watch. This is my first one. I hope it's actually going to upload and go quite well. I'm not editing anything. I'm just going to chuck it up for you guys to watch. Every Friday, I will upload them for you. If you have questions, leave them below and I'll answer them and cover them in next Friday's grocery haul. As always, enjoy your weekend, guys, and we will talk soon. Bye.